Hello, my name is Abukeko Charles, with Papa Chirandula, Dina Biashara. I'm this week guest on Snap7. Papa? Yes. Ah, two points, Anna. Thank you so much. Very good, Snap7. Nice to meet you. Welcome here. Welcome here, Safi. Mm -hmm. uh, struggling a bit slow, yeah. but we, we are on. We are on. We are on. I'm looking uh, forward. Okay. Yes. And that's Pole Pole. The kind of doer, you've been in the industry for a while. Yes. Ukiambemo Kudizwa is a celebrity status. Mm. Uh, is it a cast or a gift? Well, first the thing, I don't think I'm a celebrity yet. Um, celebrity, my definition of celebrity is somebody who's giving back to society. That is how I know celebrity. That is how I understand celebrity status. Huh? But now I'm still um, working and uh, just doing what I'm doing, doing it nicely. And I'm uh, not celebrity giving back to society. So my status still remains where they are. Papa Chirandula, Magneto International. And that is what I am, and I like it that way. All right. Yes. Speaking of international. Yes. Uh, there's a nickname, Asians, Baruti. Where do you come from? Baruti, Baruti is a name I was given in, call in uh, China. Uh, China, uh, I've gone to do Coca-Cola, the whole of China, just um, just um, towards the World Cup in South Africa. And um, Baruti was was created from the action that I was doing in Coca-Cola, the brr. So they were kind of asking, what is brr? It's kind of like, uh, you know, in the it's like mm -hmm. you're getting shocked, you're getting excited. Yeah. So it's like, it's, it's like an explosive, explosion. Yeah. So they were like, okay, fine, how do you call explosive explosion in your whatever? Yeah. I didn't have the word, I just said barut. And I didn't know that is what they wanted to call me. And then after some time, that was my name, and it's still my name up to now. It's stuck. Yes, yes, yes. It's stuck. <laughs> yeah, it did okay. start. It did stick. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, all right. So, um, Phoenix Theater. Yes. 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 Um, and it's no longer there. Yes. You feel about it? Well, um, uh, uh, Phoenix was a transit because mm -hmm. it started at the National Theatre. Uh, with a guy called Dr. Oche Modero, JPR. Actually, not Oche Modero. There was a group called Art Some Days, uh, managed by a guy called Maina Babushe and Conrad McKenney. And uh, my coming in was not to come to act. For that time, I was, uh, I was not an actor yet, but I used to be a friend of theatre. So my coming in was to market, to market that show. And I remember the first show was, the show that I was marketing was a Spanish show or something called The Marriage of Figaro. And uh, we had a big cast, and um, I was doing marketing, and then after some time, I think, uh, as we went through the rehearsals, uh, some major guys broke out. And uh, we had already booked a Galeon Frances, the uh, French cultural then. And uh, it was so tricky, we didn't know what to do. So we sat down and we were like, okay, fine, how do we do, or what do we do? Do we recast, do we do what? But again, you know, looking at the timings, the timings were so short. So um, the director decided that we take roles. He took, took a role and I also took a role. Yeah. And I took a small role, not quite small, but very big role. Uh, called, there was a doctor called Dr. Bartolo. That was cancer days. And I can't remember the year, that was a while ago. And that is how it started. And then after some time, I got myself into Balamwezi. Uh, worked with Balamwezi, became one of the guys, main guys at Balamwezi. Uh, after some time, you know, the theater life then was really it was really hard and uh, you know, uh, things were like, okay, fine, they are there, they are not there, they are there, they are not there. There was no consistency a bit and then I got myself at Phoenix. Yeah. Actually not Phoenix. I got myself casted in a show called Nativity by Steve Muturi at the Brayburn Theatre. It was a Kenyan Nativity show. And I think that was the break. That is how I got my break. And then immediately after that, after Nativity, I got myself at Phoenix. Actually Ian Boob was the one who took me to Phoenix. We were with him in the, uh, the Kenyan Nativity show, mm -hmm. and I got me to Phoenix. He came, brought me in, and introduced me to James Falkland. And that is how it started. Now, getting to James Falkland at the Phoenix, I realized, okay, fine, James told me that theater is not the way I was looking at it. It's not the way I was perceiving it. Theater was so diverse. Within theater, there's directing, there's script writing, there's stage management, there's stage construction, there's lighting, there's so much. So I didn't know what James was talking about then. But I was like, okay, fine, so we go to So we, after some time, he called me again and he was like, okay, fine, what did you decide? I thought you had spoken. In fact, I had forgotten. I said, okay, fine, by the way, you were saying, no, 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 no. And then he told me, okay, that is how it, 
that is how it's supposed to be. Now, James liked me because of commitment and seriousness. James loved me because of consistency and seriousness. And actually, James put me on a campaign on the Phoenix. Phoenix. Yes, to make me not move around. You know, the nature of artistry. Actually, yeah. But again, I put me on a small commitment. So I found myself working around James for quite a long time. So when he left abruptly, it was a, it was a blow to some of us. We didn't know what to do and we didn't know what to go. So I got myself back at the theatre again. Now getting back at the theatre, I got back to Bala Moezi, kinda, it was a bit down, I tried to revive it, but it couldn't work. And uh, me and my other friends, I remember Kiruburu Nana, Nenjo Waruinge, Patrick Kanyeki, Damarisi, Damarisi Rungu, uh, Le Dama Sempele, many of us who we were so tight in that we decided to now uh, form another group called Pambazuka Productions. And our first show, I'm telling you, the Pambazuka show, the first one was a show called Our Husband Has Gone Mad Again by Goodness. And I was the main guy, mm -hmm. uh, Len Joker Brown, the main guy. And I'm telling you, it was a ban. We actually did it at the French Cultural Center then, Alliance Francis. It was a ban. And uh, after some time, I got myself to create something called Papa Shirandula. Uh, we approached uh, Aruru. We, I talked to him actually, we approached him. And we started something, and that is how we started. Going back to theatre, yes. do you think it's changing or like Phoenix Lord? Yes. Are people not serious about theatre? It, it's, it's not about people being serious. I think it's an issue of policy. It's a policy issue. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, today, as I speak, um, it's very difficult to gauge where theatre is. It's very difficult to gauge and say theatre is doing badly or theatre is doing good. Because, you know, we're not going to a level, a forum where we can say, as in, this is how things are supposed to be done. I think it's high time we had a forum. Because, you know, like, uh, you can always see an actor or an artist, Kenyan artist, a theatre artist, doing very well. And you can see another one doing so badly, you see. So for me, I think those are certain things that we need to ask ourselves, where is the problem? If I'm a Kenyan artist doing the same, same thing, like for instance, Johnny, why is Johnny doing badly and I'm doing, well, I'm doing well, you know? So those are some of the things. Me, I think it's, it's, it's a policy issue. It's a policy issue. And I also would also want to urge my fellow artists that it's high time to impress the government. The government has so much bodies. In, we need to tone down a bit, cut the rhetoric and uh, embrace the government. They have so much goodies. Because again, you know, it's, 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 it's so tiring to live like orphans, to live like we don't have a father, we don't have a mother. Chris Foot is trying to do that. Yes. And let's say Chris Foot um, okay is a movie. Yes. It goes to Ezekiel Mutua says no. Yes. Do you think they should come together and at least be together and work with one? You know, you know, artists are very powerful. Artists are very powerful. If you look at the American government or American, artists are controlling so much. And artists are the people who are owning money. Artists are the, the most powerful people in this world. I don't know why we don't understand that. That is, that is all it is. Even with the political climate assignments in the country, artists would come and bring sanity. When there's so much killing that what we experience the other day after the elections. Artists have seen because an artist will command support from overboard. Not because you're coming from wherever, wherever. You just command support from. I think we need to diversify also. We need to convert. We need to, 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 to start to come together and at least try and tell some of the people how things are supposed to be done. Artists run the economy of America, for instance. They are very powerful people. And they are very decisive when it comes to matters, direction the, the direction the country is supposed to take. Yes. If you're given uh, the opportunity to do it, what do you do? Um, it's mobilize, mm -hmm. mobilize, get uh, people of like mind, sit down and look at where we want to take the industry and look how we can benefit the rest of the people and uh, maybe create employment for, 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 for these other people in the industry. Because it's saddening sometimes when somebody calls themselves artists and they've never done a job for two years. It's really saddening. You so mentor in we actually have mentored a lot. Mm -hmm. We've mentored so many in our production. But we are the kinds of people who don't make this about that. 
we just say thank you God. You know? We see people coming in and we let them go out very nicely, very quick, very powerful, very talented. We've That's done so much. How do you feel when you see oh he started here and now it's somewhere? Great, 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 great. I feel great. That is my joy actually. Yeah. That is my biggest joy. Uh, we, 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 we nurture, we nurture talent, we come train guys, we employ people, and uh, our production has started off just like that. Our production started off like that, yes. Our production has employed around 1,500 people for the last 11 years, feeding over 3,000 people, and educating over 5,000 people. You are a father of three? Yes. Could you attack before you want to find Well, I would know, my, my kids, um, they are very difficult to put because uh, they are so much into football and there are other lives that are contrary to what I do. My daughter is someone who is into music and strictly music and um, I don't really think if they notice what I do. <laughs> is it that they don't have time? I don't know. But uh, I've never seen anyone who can do what I'm doing at the moment. No, 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 they have their own things, they are doing their own things, mm -hmm. uh, they are doing their own things, but they, they, they appreciate me, my wife supports me so much, my mom supports me, my dad support her, my mother and daughter support her, great guys, in fact, actually, they played a very big role when I said to Papa yeah. they knew about Papa Chirante even before anybody else. <laughs> I read somewhere that, would you know a way to open the camera more than open the camera? <laughs> well, um, I don't know, but I think it's peace of mind, and I don't know if that's malicious. My wife tries to get me out of market or something, I don't know. This, <laughs> is, all this, is, this is her, this is her, this is her, this is her doing. <laughs> <laughs> we have a gym, 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 we have a small gym in the house, but I'm fit, I'm fit, we are both fit. Yeah, we are both fit. We are okay. We are sour sour. You are sour sour. Yes, we are okay. So the name Teddy Bear is sour. Yes, I'm this, I'm this. Where did that name come from? Which one? Teddy Bear. Teddy Bear? Yeah. Teddy Bear. Who call you Teddy Bear like that? Well, I don't know. You know, people just create names and then you just hear them and you just say, okay, sour. Some people do my mom and I eat her. It's sour sour. All right. I eat her, she eat her. Do you have any projects coming soon for our man? What's happening? Well, right now, apart from Go TV, there's nothing. Apart from Go TV, there's nothing. Working with Go TV, we've been our sixth year, and uh, I think we're happy. We trying to get the market to understand what Go TV is all about. We have now so much. Right now, we have Go TV Max, which has so much great things. Great things. We're looking forward. We just did our 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 shoot the other week, uh, the other weekend. Uh, Go TV Africa, and Go TV Max, and uh, we will run the song and called Papa Wow. That is what we are all, that is what we are doing. This is the sec second segment. We did the first one in the over the other day. Last year, actually, 2017. Yeah. We just done the second couple of hours uh, the other weekend. And uh, we are looking for one. We are looking for 2018. Yeah, 2018 big time. Yes. Yeah, that is good. Mm. Yeah. In life, um, Maisha Nagyo Kileko. Yes. What, is this a mystery to you? I'm a major to yourself. Like I remember when we did a Coca-Cola ad, it was a small thing, very small by the way. We are 2002. Very small. Zile za kuchapa na kuenda. Yeah, and I remember when we did it, we were just approaching Christmas. We had a report at 24,000, 75,000. And I took their camera bus back, back a village, they were normal, I think, they were full there, I can't remember. And it was just like that. I left it at that. You know that those of you do something and then you forget. So after some time, I think one and a half years or two years, the call comes and I'm like, okay, fine. So um, you get with us. So we, Coca-Cola, Atlanta, we are happy about what you did. Now this commercial that you did was meant to be for Sub-Saharan Africa. But this commercial has won two creative awards for the second year. You didn't know? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. You know me, I'm not a social media person. I don't know what's going on. Going behind me, I don't know. Yeah. So I was like, uh -huh. so now we want you to join us in, uh, is it Mauritius, was it Mauritius, or Seychelles? Mm. We coming over and uh, we want to present you with our award and all that. So me, Judy, Judy Cairo, and uh, Eric Okot, the Coca-Cola Nairobi, they called me, arrange flights and all that, we go down to, the, to Mauritius, was it Mauritius or Seychelles, or something. Yeah, we go 
and then that's all. That's it. Now, while you're having dinner, I'm approached by a guy that uh, I later on came to realize he was the president of Coca Cola, telling me, you know, the chief, this thing is good. Now, I don't know, can we do another better way? I said, of course, no problem. Mm -hmm. Are you available? I said, yes, I'm available. What do you mean? I'm available. So we went back to Joe Bag again and kept on. We did both Coca Cola, and then I think that is what happened. And then after some time again, I'm called again and I'm told this thing is supposed to be done bigger. So I started block trot with Coca Cola. Vietnam, Singapore, Indonesia, wherever, all those countries. Yeah. And I was like, okay, so this is what's happening. Right? That was just it was a one cup in South Africa. Come back, sit, and then. You know, certain times in life you get yourself into things, but you don't imagine they are big things until you come down, sit, and start reflecting. It's like, Ow! You know, you ask yourself, who are you going to be with? Do you ever think of retirement? I, what I do, I don't think I can ever retire with what I do. Um, it's something that you can even learn while sitting. Yeah, it's sitting. What I do is all about being creative, using your brain and doing so much. It's not physical that way. Right? Yeah, I don't think I can retire. I may be getting on the screen. I may be doing things behind the scenes, yes. But retirement, I would know. In your wish. In your life. This is now life. Yeah. Yeah. This is now like. Thank you so much. Thanks so much. Mm. Asante sana. Pleasure. Okay. Yeah.